I want to briefly demonstrate this concept of scope, which is described with the appropriate diagrams in the book, but I kind of want you to see it in action. So I've created a script called test. Now it starts by writing the contents of a variable dollar sign $x. And then it changes dollar sign $x to 100, and then it writes the contents of dollar sign $x again. I actually, I'm going to execute this from within the shell, and I'm going to start by just running test. Initially, x contained nothing. Now, after changing it to 100, the script admits that it contains 100. Now that might be what you expected. After all, as we ran the script, we didn't initially set x to contain anything, and, and that's what the output shows. If I look here in the shell, x contains nothing. So here in the shell, let's set x to 10, and run the script again. You see what happened? Because x didn't exist within the script, PowerShell looked up one level in the scope to the global scope where I had set x equal to 10. And so within the script, that's what x contained. When the script explicitly changed x to contain 100, it actually created a new version of x that lived only within that script and set that to 100. Here at the shell, x never changed. While that script was running for a brief time, we had two things named x. The one I had created here and the one that had been set to 100 inside the script. It can definitely be confusing, and so kind of the practice is to never access a variable inside of a script until you have explicitly given it a value inside of that script. We're going to talk about scope more in an upcoming chapter, but this kind of gives you an overview of how it works and kind of some of the confusion that it can create if you don't know what's going on.